Hey guys, I'm back to show you a flip through. Move my coffee. Show you a flip through of this uh, Christmas journal that I finished um, for Ann. And Ann messaged me and said that she was interested in this one. So I finally got it finished up and uh, plan to ship it out to her on Friday. But I wanted to do a flip through uh, so she can look at it if she wants to or she can wait and it can be a surprise or um, just to get a recording and, um, you know, a record of it. Because I forget, I don't know about y'all, um, you other folks that make journals and stuff, but when you make stuff, sometimes you just forget. If you don't have a record of it, you forget what you even did. So anyway, it is finished and um, here's the tie. I just don't have it wrapped around it right now, but here's the tie that goes with it. And then um, I'm gonna send her some extra, some extra fabrics and then, um, and some little bits and pieces, little scraps that she can use as tabs and things like that. And a couple pieces big enough for pockets if she wants to add more fabric pockets and stuff like that to it. I did not do a uh, ton of embellishing, just a little bit and um, I want her to be able to make it her own. So I finished the charm and I put a little uh, 25 on there, a vintage Jingle Bell, um, one of my handmade stars, a little um, Tim Holtz uh, token that says merriment. And then I attached this uh, beautiful glass snowman uh, to the ring. So this, this is removable. So it's got a binder ring here. So she can take this off. Um, she can use these elements, you know, somewhere else. If she wants to take this apart, I put her some beads and some buttons in here. I didn't go crazy, you know, in case she does want to, you know, use this in another way. Um, but it turned out really pretty. I, I love these. Um, I love these tassels like this, but all of that can be used in a different way if she wants. So, um, I showed you the cover in the last video and showed you the back. I was able to clean up, um, this was pretty dingy on the back and I was able to clean some of that up. I got some of the dingy stuff off of it that I at first thought wouldn't come off, but it did. So, anyway. I do love the way these books came out and I'm currently printing pictures for mine and I'm going to try to do some videos um, when I get some things done. I'll be working on that throughout the rest of the month and probably into February and hoping to, you know, finish it. So I'll share some of those um, with you. Now, when you open this up, um, it's got the five signatures just like mine and I put a fabric pocket here, which I really like. I really like this fabric. Um, it doesn't have a ton of give in it, but you can put, you know, several things in there and then on the back. And then I've added some extra goodies back here for her and tucked in a few other things in the book that, um, that she can use as well. So I ended up putting this on the inside page rather than here. I just liked the look of that better. So, um, I like this color combination here. And then she can put my book and she can dedicate it to someone if she's doing it as a gift or she can, you know, whatever she wants to do there. So this is a mix of some of the same elements that were in, that I used in my Christmas journal. Um, I did make a paper clip here with um, some scrap of a, another little um, like tie that I had made. I cut it up in pieces and used a little scrap of that and then stitched a button to it. Um, I put the buttons on the signatures and the same types of papers that I used in mine. Now in here I did put, I did make some pockets for her this came out of the frosty the snowman book because i didn't use the file folder in this one like i did in mine so i made her a pocket and then i put um a couple of guest checks and a vintage flash card in here with a, a heart paper clip 
so she can do whatever she wants to with that. There are some other goodies in here, little um, die cuts and things like that for her to make embellishments with. And then um, a couple of these pages I stitched like I did on mine. So there's a pocket. Um, this came out of a Christmas book. You know, how to make a gingerbread man. It's a pattern. No little golden book. Here's the um, dessert page that I did that I showed you guys how I attached those together. This was um, this was a little bit different. Um, this was an old uh, sheet music that I thought was really pretty. So put that in here for her. And then a little gingerbread button. Another little white button here, a vintage button. And this is wallpaper. This is a textured wallpaper. You're not gonna pick that up in the video, but it feels really nice. And I love this, I love this little golden book. This is one of the um, Christmas Carol golden book pages. And then there's a pocket on the back here. So then we go into the second signature, no, third signature, excuse me. And that's a pocket. And this this is a tag I've had that I made a while ago that was in my stash and I never used it. Um, so I thought it looked cute in here. So sharing that with her. Vintage ledger. Um, and then here's the, the green file folder that I used. Um, I can't remember which little golden book this was from. Mm, one of the Christmas little golden books, but Santa and Mrs. Claus are talking. I thought it was cute. And then there's mistletoe right here. So I had this little sticker that said mistletoe. And then I just made a little cluster and made this a little, like a little tag um, that just kind of sticks out there, like a little tab. And then this is from that Carrie's Kittens. And I was gonna make it, I was gonna make it into an envelope, but then I thought I'll let her decide if she wants to do that because these images are really cute on this side too. So I didn't put any buttons here, but all, all she has to do is glue it there and there. And then she could just put a little paper clip or something or a closure here if she wants to use it as an envelope. Really tried to um, just keep it fairly simple. Um, there's a pocket here and a pocket here. Fairly simple for her to do her own thing. And then this is a Richard Scarry um, book page. And then I did, I did not put any of the photo sleeves in my book. I uh, decided that if I wanted to, I could just tip them in in some way if I want to use those in mine. So, um, but I did put some in here for her and then I put um, some of my little handmade embellishments in here, um, the journaling cards, and then that's another journaling card. This one is a, this one is a flip up. So it comes out. So she could put a photo here, journal here, you know, put a photo on the back. You don't have to use this journaling card in here. You could do that somewhere else. And then that just sticks right back in there. Okay, just a uh, card stock, more music. This is vintage music. I just left it like open like this so she could tuck things. Here is the Santa Claus um, paper file tab. And then I put a little brad here that says Joy. She can add um, a label here if she wants. Um, pokey puppy the pokey little puppies first Christmas this was a large golden book page I thought that looked really cute in here with the cut and it looked really went really well with these colors of this paper and then here's the other sleeve that connects to the other one um, this one has the four three by four and then here's a bunch of other stuff I tucked in here for her and then the fifth signature, this is from that story, that same storybook that the um, this book belongs to, page in front, the Swedish uh, Christmas story. And if you watched my video of putting pages together, you saw these pages and how I did that. There's another pocket, and this is from a Rudolph, a vintage Rudolph book. And then there's a bunch of little goodies in here. There's another little handmade, um, sort of tag or charm in there and some little die cuts 
journaling cards. And I just, I backed this page with some music paper and then um, folded it up. So this is actually a little pocket here. Let's see if I have something. Of course I don't have anything right at my hands. So this is actually a pocket right here too. So she can tuck, she can tuck a photo or something right there or she can just leave it like that. So it's a little tuck pocket here and a pocket behind there. And then um, did the, you know, little slide type page and put a bunch of little goodies in here. Um, some die cuts, some handmade, some of my handmade but Christmas buttons, some snowflakes, a little bits and pieces. I had another um, Eloise Wilkins Seasons book. So um, I put one of those pages in here. And then the other, the other sleeve with some more journaling cards. And then I'm gonna sign this. I forgot I gotta take this out. I'm gonna sign this little card and put it in the back. Um, yeah. And then this page right here, I was gonna use in my journal and I completely forgot about it. And I just, I love this paper. I absolutely love this paper. And um, I can't remember what paper line it is because I always cut the little things off of it. But I love that Santa. Um, so I put it in here for her. And I've got to look look it up and see if I can't figure out where that <laughs> where that came from. Cause I've had it for a had it for a little while. Anyway, and then this is the back. So that is Anne's journal. And um, let me know what you guys think. Um, I always appreciate your comments and your suggestions and your thoughts and, and um, you know, telling me when I, you know, if I bumble my words, <laughs> y'all like, y'all help me find my words. So I appreciate you all. I'm also, while I had my Christmas stuff out, I did start, um, I started a couple of more journals. Let me just show you real quick. And if um, if anyone is interested, let me know. Um, if not, I'm gonna continue to work on them, but I'll probably just, you know, put them in the shop later on um, or next year. So I started this one and I don't have my ruler here. It's, it's sort of a different, it's almost like an eight by eight size. Um, and I, it's got five signatures in it. I did the three hole pamphlet stitch on this one. I haven't added the charm yet. And I haven't added, you know, I haven't added any embellishments. I've just put the pages in. And I did in the same, in the similar style of the other two journals. So I'm going to flip through this real quick. Just to kind of give you an idea of what's in here. I haven't put the buttons in. Um, I've just simply put more, um, of similar type stuff. I did make a little envelope here. I just stuck it in, just kind of stuck it in there for now. Um, yeah, this one's really cute too. This one, I um, when I first started my Christmas stuff, I had intended on using this particular book for myself. And then I decided, like I used one of these little, um, oh, this came from a, Oh my gosh, every time I get ready to do a video, I wanna tell you where this thing came from, but it was like a little planner, a, a vintage planner type thing. So this has coupons. I haven't done anything to that yet, but I cut that one down and put it in here. Um, some of the other last pages I had from that Swedish story. Um, storybook page, you know, similar stuff. I didn't put, I put that particular thing in here um, because I didn't use one of the file folders or one of the green files in here. So that's just how my brain works. Don't ask me why. But anyway, so, so there's wallpaper, you know, all the, all the good stuff, all the fun stuff. Um, yeah. 
So this one's in process. And then this is extra stuff in the back that was left over from the pages. But if anyone, if anyone's interested in this, let me know. And uh, we can talk about it and, and, uh, and I'll finish it. Um, otherwise, I'll just put it in the shop, put it in the shop down the road. And then I started, um, I started this one as well. And this will be a ring bound journal. So, uh, this is the cover and this came, this is like the front page from Frosty. So I left this little about Frosty on here. And, um, so Frosty the Snowman was born in 1950 as a subject of a phonograph record. And it gives you a little bit of history that was in the book. And this was a 1950 copyright book. Okay. So this will be the cover. And as you can see, I haven't covered this yet. Um, put the brads on here. I think this one's turned out super cute. I really like this one. So, you know, if nobody's interested, this might be my journal for next year, but um, that's the back. And then, you know, I've just, I've just kind of put pages, put pages in here that I want to use in it. And it'll be ring bound and it's going to be kind of close. So there'll be two rings in it. And I, my plan is to put some like tags and other like different shape pieces in it. So I've got some ideas for this one. I thought I'd just show you real quick. And this is a tie. It will wrap this way. Not as long as the other ties, but for now, that's my plan. And then if I if it gets too chunky, then, you know, I'll make another tie. But anyway, I thought this one turned out really cute. So y'all let me know if you might be interested in that. Either one of these. Okay. And, um... I am going to come back and show you working in my, um, in my Christmas journal. I've got two orders that I need to finish from last year. I'm just super late in getting those done. One of them is kind of like a farmhouse or kind of like the one last one I did for, um, another one of my customers, her name's happen her name happens to be Ann as well. Not the same Ann where I did the, um, the binder, that real chunky farmhouse sewing homebody like Gina um, at the Rebuilkery calls her journals homebodies. But, you know, all those things, all those creative things. I'm working on hers and then I'm working on a Mother Goose book. And then at all of those, um, I have other books in process with them. Um, so I'm going to be working on those. That's my next goal is to get those two journals done because those ladies have been patiently waiting on me for a long time. And, um, I have the, a bunch of other journals in progress. I know I showed you guys some readers a while back. I want to get those finished up. Um, I have some happy mail I want to share. Happy mail will probably be the next video. And then just a, a bunch of other things in mind for this year. So I'll be back soon. And once again, thank you all for all your support. And um, I love you guys. I hope everybody's doing well. And I will see you soon. Bye.